What is up, everybody? It is I, Ronan, coming at you with some of the hottest insect gameplay you've ever seen. Because, like, for some reason, the last three decks I've done have been, like, just insects. But, yeah, today we have a new variation in the form of Giant Ballpark the deck. And, I'm not gonna lie, one of the weirder decks I've ever played, but I'll get into that in a little bit. For now, we will do the deck profile, starting with the admittedly small pool of monsters. We have free Sea Ranger Shine Black, free Insect Knight, free Lil Lilith Lady of Lament, and free Goki Pole. Uh, so the strategy behind... Well, actually, first we'll also go over the free Giant Ballpark. So uh, it's a field spell, and during damage calculation, you can stop both players from taking battle damage. If you do, you get to send a insect monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if it is a normal monster, you can summon as many copies of that monster as possible from everywhere except the banished zone. So we do run multiples of our normal insects, basically just for the big numbers. And this deck can really be used aggressively or defensively, and it can facilitate both things. But, uh, yet you might notice that we also have Lilith here, as well as Metaverse and Trap Trick. Yes, we are playing the Field Spell Engine for Mystic Mine, because you kind of have to play this deck similar to how you play Mystic Mine. Because, like, you know when you're going up against someone who uses Mystic Mine, and they just straight up activate Mystic Mine, and then you... No, they don't know what they're doing because it's like, oh, I can just do something if this is turn one. I can just wait you out. So it's a, it's a very similar idea. You kind of have to catch people off guard with the giant ballpark. Otherwise, they, it's extremely easy to play around. So we run the Mystic Mine engine to make it seem like we are playing Mystic Mine when in actuality we are playing giant ballpark. So yeah, Lilith is here to tribute itself to search our metaverse or our trap trick or a storming mirror force uh goki pole though really kind of the best card in this deck so if it's sent to the graveyard you can add a level four lower insect monster from your deck to your hand and if it's a normal monster you can special summon it and just destroy one monster on the field that has higher or the same attack as it so the general combo at least during your opponent's turn, it goes like this. Uh, they attack, you use the giant ballpark effect to stop it, send Goki Pole. Goki Pole will add Insect Knight or Sea Ranger Shine Black, usually Sea Ranger Shine Black because it's the bigger body. And then you'll special summon it, pop something on the field that is huge and threatening and scares you. And that's basically the game plan for the defense, for the offense. You summon a weaker monster, Lilith, or Gogi Bull, or something like that. Uh, attack, stop the weak attack with the giant ballpark, send whatever normal monster you want, summon them, and then just go into beatdown mode from there, assuming you can. So yeah, it really can be aggressive or defensive. Very heavily involved in the battle phase, though. So uh, yeah... That's kind of the monsters and the traps all explained, as well as Giant Ballpark, so let's just go over everything else with the spells. So we have free Unexpected Die, one Raigeki, free Pot of Extravagance, two Terraforming, one Foolish, free Called, free Twin Twister, already went over the Giant Ballpark. So the rest of this stuff is just consistency, consistency and success boosting, so Unexpected Die... We do run a fair amount of normal monsters, so this is just something else you can summon if you want to. Uh, it really does act as another special summonable monster from the deck, so it's worth it. Raigeki, this is very much a beat-down, damage style deck, so you do this can be helpful, especially since unless you go the Goki Polar route, it is kind of hard to out larger monsters. Uh, Pot of Extravagance, we play purely from the main deck pretty much. So outside of a few spicy tech type options, we really don't need to worry about extra like terraforming because if we want to play aggressively, it's kind of nice to search the giant ballpark. Foolish burial because we can send Goki Pole and then just get a search or summon of anything. Call by the grave because we lose to Ash hard. Twin Twisters because again, very much a beatdown style deck, so it's very 
good to be able to clear out that back row or annoying spell traps that are all around. And we already explained Giant Ballpark. Well, it does have one more effect that doesn't usually come into play, but when a monster is destroyed by an opponent's card effect that you control, you can summon a normal insect from your graveyard, and you can only use each of its effects once per turn, so we do have a little bit of recursion with our normal monsters. Uh, let's see, we went over Trap Trick and Metaverse, the Storming. I mean, you can run it. It helps a lot. Again, not large monsters that you're going into, so is it just another way to clear the field? And now for the extra deck, uh, we do have, we'll go over the staring stuff first, Mrs. Radiance at free, because we are all earth monsters, pretty much. Uh, two ofs of each of the nightmares that I usually run, because we are playing extravagance, we do not want to get rid of them all accidentally. Uh, Utopia set here, as well as two cowboys, because you can actually do a lot of battle damage with this deck and clear the feet, if you, the, uh, field is clear, like, if you set it up to make it look like you're playing Mystic Mine, they might just not summon anything. So you, what you're able to do is really uh, just make the most out of this cowboy during main phase 2. Alright, but uh, now for the side deck, uh, we have our kaijus. We are using Kamungus the Sticky String Kaiju for this one, because it is also a insect, it is also earth, it just kind of synergizes better. Uh, dark Hole for an alternate field wipe in the Mystic Mine matchup. Just so we can clear our own field if need be. Heavy Storm Duster for a little bit of alternate spell trap removal. Just because, you know, Secret Village of the Spellcatchers is a thing. Imperial Order coming back a little bit. So it is nice to have this as another searchable spell trap removal option if we need it. Uh, we are running Free Gamma and Free Delta. Uh, so, Ash Hurts. Called Hurts. So, uh, we do really have to protect our plays like that. We most of the time will have an open field until the battle phase anyway, so we can really use these to the max if our opponent is playing a lot of disruptive ashes or other monster effects or just annoying spell traps that we need to get rid of. And naturally, we have two driver to facilitate these psi frames. But, uh, yeah, if you're new here, we play free games. Hope they go well, and I talk about the deck a little bit afterwards, my thoughts, feelings, what I could have done better, what went actually well, generally things like that. But uh, yeah, that being said, I'll see you guys in the first game. Okay, welcome to the second game with Carva. We're going for Rocco here. Fist bumps, fist bumps. Let's keep fist bumping. Alright, sick, sick. Uh, again, go first. Okay, this hand's decent. This hand is decent. Alright, so we will go ahead and Lilith, Lady of Lamet. Alright, uh, activate Lilith's ability. Tribute itself. Hmm. Alright, so we're waiting on something. Potentially a Ash Blossom, which is fine. You know, Ash Blossom is fine in this situation. I'd much rather get it out of the way now to protect our metaverse next turn. Uh, okay, so... We'll go ahead and reveal Trap Trick. That'll give us access to everything else if we need it. So we'll set... Set... And, yeah, we can go ahead and set that just to make it look scarier. Uh, but, let's see, all depends. Okay, it looks like our opponent's actually going to be playing some Metaphys here. Or no, Thunder Dragons. Uh, so we'll go ahead, Trap Trick, Reveal Metaverse, off of the Trap Trick. Make it look like we now have that all set up. So if he is able to get popping with our spell traps, we will have two, just in case. Alright, but yeah, the aloof lupine. Pretty good. Pretty good call there. Uh, No. 
We want to hold out till the battle phase and hope our hope Carver here is not like the smartest and thinks that for whatever reason we are just a bad a bad mystic mind player. Like that's kind of the hope that he just thinks we're bad at playing mystic mind. Uh no. Uh, hopefully a spell trap comes down so we can activate our twin twisters. Because being able to send Goki Pole to the graveyard here would be... It'd just be solid. Okay, Trisbania. That's... Wow, that is very scary. Uh, yeah. Just please don't special summon to his own. And we're good. Nope, he special summoned to his own. Uh. No. Let's see. Uh, if a monster special in his own, banish this point, but those monsters as possible, also as many spell traps on the field as possible. Uh, so we will have to add it to our hand. So we do not. Lose our ballpark. I probably should have chained the Twin Twisters there as well. Uh, that would have been the smarter thing to do. That would have been smart. Because uh, that way I could have discard, dropped the Goki Pole. Actually, no, this still works. This still works, I'd say. Uh, so Trisbania pass. Powerful plays. Powerful plays. Alright, so we'll go ahead and activate the ballpark. Uh, and I think I think we can get several pops here, actually. So we'll attack into the Trisbania. Damage calc will happen where we activate our ballpark. Uh, this will let us send... Sea Ranger. And with Sea Ranger, we'll be able to special summon all of them. Uh, when Goki Pole will be sent to the graveyard, we'll get our Insect Knight. Uh, yeah, so add Insect Knight. Special summon it. Destroy ourselves the Trisbania. And then we just go in for big damage. Hoping he does not have, like, a wild battle fader or something. Because if he does, I will be very upset. Uh, what am I waiting for? Possible Dragon Dark? So yeah, he should be left on 100 life points after this. But don't worry. We've got the answer for you. And the first time ever. Ah, cowboy for game. Yeah, scoop it up right now, Carva. Scoop it up. Right freaking now. Okay, why? Cowboyed for game. <laughs> we just cowboyed for game this man. <laughs> oh, this is the first time I've ever cowboyed for game someone. This is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Like, Okay, this is great. I'm I'm probably going to end up putting this duel first, because it's the deck going off perfectly, uh, it's playing well, and we did this. Cowboy for game. Even if we don't win again, this was 100% worth. I'll see you guys in the final game. Okay, welcome to the first game with O-Dragon. We are Bug Roof. A little baseball joke that I imagine most of... Us here in the Americas will understand better. Uh, we want to go first. Uh, weirdly enough, a big part of this deck is sort of like 
the mind games of getting the opponent to think you are playing Mystic Mine. Uh, so yeah, during standby, we'll do it to set the metaverse. Make him think we are playing that Mystic Mine burn. But we are not. We are not. However, metaverse has become synonymous, so hopefully O-Dragon here falls for it. Uh, we will be able, if he for some reason does, then we will be able to do a lot of damage. Ooh, Pacifus! Uh, Pacifus is actually pretty cool. It doesn't really hurt us too much, though. Uh, Pacifus with a D-Fissure. Okay, weird. Uh, let's see. When exactly add a Pacific Spiral from your hand. If your opponent actually has a card or effect. Uh, yeah, so this is Pacific. I'm not super familiar with the deck. I do know a little bit about it. I do know a little. Uh, you can get tokens, but that doesn't really hurt us, so I'm not super concerned about it. However, if that is the thing about Pacifus, though, that you gotta know. If he has tokens, he cannot get more tokens. So we let him get this token, like so. And he is getting the battle, which is admittedly scary. Admittedly, the battle is scary. Uh, if he goes after the metaverse, then we can chain it. Like, that's kind of the hope right now. There we go. He will get a token, unfortunately. Uh, nope. We'll just leave our giant ballpark there. He should get a token here. If I am understanding this deck correctly. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the D-Fissure actually hurts so much. Uh, yeah, we can't, we can't send monsters to the graveyard. Uh. Yeah, we can't send our monsters to the graveyard. Alright, that dimensional fissure, actually a problem. Uh, we can stop the damage though or he's just gonna do that and pass oh yeah he can't do battle damage oh oh yeah I forgot I forgot they couldn't do battle damage uh the downside of demise right there uh this still does put us in a actually Precarious spot, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Goki Pole will not go to the graveyard. So we can't do that. Uh, hmm. Uh, you know what? No, we're actually gonna do it anyways. Just for the deck venting, so we can hopefully draw into our Twin Twisters. So yeah, go ahead, activate that, stop the battle of damage. Uh, we can go ahead and send another Insect Knight. Oh, shoot, that activates on destroying something by battle? It destroys the opponent's monster by battle, huh. Well, ain't I just the fool? But yeah, at this point we are just trying to draw into Twin Twisters. Uh, he did get... I think that was a power. Uh, he does have full... Okay, yeah, that's happening, actually. He will be getting another Phantasm City. Uh, so the battle is live. He'll probably use it to try to, uh... Poppity pop or giant ballpark. Or he might not, it's not really a threat to him. 
Uh, yep. So yeah, you really do have to protect the field spell. But yeah, no pop for him. So we're pretty good with that. He should get a token here. Uh, we will be able to stall out for yet another battle. <sighs> Dang it. Dang. Okay, okay. I think this is just game. Pretty sure this is just game. Uh, yes it is. Okay, so... Yeah, the deck does rely on its monsters a lot. So if we lose the ability to send those to the graveyard with, like, say, with D. Fissure, uh, yeah, we're in trouble. And he passed. Why? Why exactly did you pass? Okay, you know what? That's fine. He gave us... For some reason, he gave us a chance to pull this back. I don't know why, but he did. He made the conscious decision that we can do that. Uh, I'd rather not lose my last Sea Ranger. Alright, so we're gonna need... Uh, we could pop the city... Which would be alright. We could pop D Fissure. Uh, but that doesn't do us much good without the. Uh, yeah, that popping D Fissure doesn't do us much good if we don't have our field spell. So we'll go for Lightning. Yeah, oh, okay. All right, nothing happened. Uh, yeah, let's just go for lightning. Uh, we will be attacking... Mm, over nothing. We'll be attacking over nothing. Because they have a archetypal... They have an archetypal impermanence. Uh, in case you did not know that. But yeah, this isn't... This just is... Well, this is a bad matchup. d is a bad matchup. Uh, we hope... I was hoping we would... Draw into our spell trap removal. Thus far, we have not. Uh, but unless he has another power, I... Think we're pretty much safe for this turn, at least. Uh, used, he's used two battles, I know that. But free battles, okay, all free battles are gone, so that's... The good card gone. So we are... We can start to bring this back a little bit. Uh... Gem Knight Pearl. I mean, I guess it's a normal monster, you can do that. That's just not... It's not terrible. Yeah, but for future tip, Pacifist, if you're going up against it, uh, keep the token on the field. You keep the token on the field, you don't have to worry about the token ever again, pretty much. Oh right, yeah, just going for the battle phase. Uh, attacking over. What? Yes. Uh, we care less about losing the Utopia. Oh wait, they actually went to the graveyard. Does... Does D Fissure not work on... Yeah, this game, though. Unfortunately, game. Uh, D Fissure happened. Sometimes that's just how it is, though. Uh, we were... Set to go off if that was not a thing, though. So, uh, yeah... Oh, hopefully next game we don't get D Fissure turn one, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, welcome to the final game with just player. Nothing exciting about this guy. Uh, looks like we did lose the Rock, Paper, Scissors, though, so let's see where we're going. 
Uh, okay, so we're going second. All right, that's good. That's good. Uh, FAs. Uh, okay, so FA. Let's see. That has a effect. It gains levels. That drops levels to draw cards, I believe. Let's see. I know this one gives it levels. Let's see. Increase level all FA on the field by two during battle phase. Oh uh, yeah, we're fine with that actually. I mean, we drew the insect knight. We already have the giant ballpark. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead. Twin twisters dropping the terraforming. I think. Handle that back row. I know he will get a search off of the other one. So yeah, he had a twin twister as well. So. That actually would have messed with our whole game plan. And I think we can just actually do the same thing we did last game. Uh, yeah, battle phase. Attack. Yes. So we'll go ahead and send Ranger Black. And we'll summon all of our boys. Like this. Well, no, actually, it won't be quite as good as last game. We won't have, a. Uh, we won't have quite enough damage to go for Cowboy, unfortunately. Uh, we'll attack again. Right, main phase two. Uh, hmm. Uh, we could make the lightning here. Just so he doesn't have anything he can beat over. You know, I'm actually kind of comfortable with that, I think. Uh, so we'll use the insect knight. But yeah, we'll just go into lightning. Like that. So he doesn't ha- so now there's something he can't beat over. Uh, if he has the ability to just absolutely go off. And I just noticed he only has 12 extra deck cards. Just noticed that. Okay, Sonic Meister. Uh, Sonic Meister can attack twice if he's level 7 or higher. He does have another field spell. Uh, so he's going to recover that, I believe. Or special it. Alright, so the Whip Crosser. Sonic Meister effect activates, so he gained a level. Uh, but Sonic Meister is purely a battle phase effect, so I'm not extraordinarily concerned. I think this is a game. Well, actually, that he didn't attack, so that very well could be a mirror force or something. It'll be game no matter what, so we'll switch that to. So we'll switch our boys to defense. Uh, yeah, I'll use Giant Ballpar's effect. Gives a special summon from Grave. A Sonic, they are gaining levels, though. So, a... Ranger Black. I'm pretty sure we can still go in for a Lightning Kill here, though. Because we do run multiple copies. Uh, so he's... We still have the ability to beat him over. No damage will be dealt, so we cannot use the giant ballpark, unfortunately. No. Oh, I guess it can, cannot be destroyed battle? Uh, let's see. Cannot be destroyed by battle with any opponent's monster whose original level slash rank is lower than this card's level or rank. Okay. Did not realize that was the case. I'm a bad. We'll go ahead and just set the metaverse. Uh, we will be able to handle it next turn, though, so that's fine. Uh, not sure what recovery options Mans has here, so... Guess we're gonna find out. Okay, so here comes the hang-on lock. I'm pretty sure this is like the anti-hand trap one. Alright, so, popping it, 
to bring out the navigator. Navigator's the good one. I know navigator's like the really good one. I believe it like searches field spells for you. All right, so he is at level seven though. So that means that Sonic Meister is getting big. Now let's see. Okay, he's getting another level. He can't really go into attack mode here, though, can he? The ballpark is still up. All right, so there's Trap Trek, which is good for us. Good for us. Uh. Okay, so we could we could link into link into Cerberus, drop it to pop the Sonic Meister. Attack over the auto navigator. Uh, I kind of want to wait till I have one more monster ready to go before I make that kind of decision, I think. So as soon as we get another monster, we'll be ready to go. Uh, we can hold on to Trap Trick for now. Alright, Tribute Summoning, the Turbo Charger. Ooh, risky play. Risky play. Uh, why? Let's see. Dead Heat. When an opponent's monster collides a direct attack, you can special an FA from your deck. You can use Dead Heat once per turn, once per battle. If your FA monster battles a monster opponent controls before damage calculation, you can have both players roll a six-sided die. If the result, if your result is higher, increase the level of all battling monsters by four. Till the end of if your result is lower. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. That's cool. Cool little dice roll game. Alright, sick. And he gets more levels. The only thing though, he can't attack into the lightning. Or apparently he can attack into the lightning. Uh we could stop all battle damage here. Like, yeah. Sure, I'm down for that. I will send a Goki pole. Uh, yeah, I guess I couldn't use that effect. Hmm. Uh, did I misread something? I feel like I misread something. Uh, no. Uh, so why couldn't... Is it because I used the ballpark effect? It was probably because I used the ballpark effect. Uh, thankfully, though, we won't die next turn. Like, we definitely have more than enough recovery options here. Let's see, turbocharger. FA spell trap is activated. Uh, let's see. What's this one's high level effect? Uh, the next card's level cannot target the monster for attack, set this one. Your opponent can't target monsters at this one with the effects of monsters original level is lower than this card. Uh... We have a Rygek. We have a Rygek. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was a sick top deck on our part. Uh, we do have the trap trick set up, so that's pretty solid. If he summons anything that looks lethal, we can just... Uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and trap trick. Scare him off of attacking. Go ahead, put down a storming, I think. Uh, yeah, we probably should have gone for the Cerberus when we had the chance. See, I believe that just lets him add a field spell from deck to hand. Oh, let's see. Uh, add FA field spell at your hand. Uh, you control so there's a little special this card. Okay, so he, because that is a higher level, he will be able to reduce it to get a potential synchro play, but Dawn Dragster is level 7, unfortunately for him. Right, so down comes the Grand Prix. Yeah, no, he can't even go for, like, the mobile home, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm... I'll go ahead and use the Metaverse. 
get a giant ballpark to hand. It's a little deck mending, so it's not bad. But we will take some damage here, though. We'll take some damage, unfortunately. Yeah, we can go ahead and do this. Uh, we can send Goki Pole. Because now we do have the Goki Pole effect. Yes, we will be special summoning this monster. Uh, let's see. Let me read Goki Pole. Alright. Uh, you can destroy one monster on the field with attack greater than or equal to that special summon monsters. Uh, he doesn't have anything. So we will not be destroying anything. Because we could only pop ourselves, which is not, not too good. Uh, it is a level 4 right now, though. Or, yeah, oof. Oof to my guy. Um, I think we can get game here. So we have to attack. Dead heat. We tied. Land tied. Uh, so he got higher, unfortunately. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, because he got a higher level, I forgot. Oh, uh, that's a weird card. That's a weird card. Hang on, Mock. FAs, what a weird deck to play against. Why is this so difficult? It really feels like this shouldn't be as difficult as it is. Uh, no. Uh, we do know for a fact, though. Uh, yeah. We can activate it. It's deck fenning. Like, that's pretty good. Uh, he's not a high enough level to negate our effect. I don't think. Or, yeah, I guess we're out of targets in deck. I think we're just out of targets. Eh, uh, this could help. Okay, this could help. Uh, no. Yeah, we're out of targets in deck. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I think we lost this. I think... I think we just lose. We're out of normal monsters. Uh... I really do think that I just played too cautiously here. I think that was... Oh yeah, add to hand. Yeah, no, I definitely feel like I played too cautiously. Uh, I definitely could have... Could have been better about that. If I had made a Cerberus when he just had a few piddly little monsters, we would have been fine, but... Hey... It happens. I misplayed fairly hard there, unfortunately. But you know, he made player here. He made the correct moves, without a doubt. Uh, so that just pops spell traps. Let's see. Uh. Once per turn, you can target one card on the field, reduce this card's level by three, and if you destroy that target... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, Dark Draxer's good. Uh, yeah, but this is... Well, it's not quite game. But it might as well be, because there's literally nothing else we can do. Uh, we're completely out of in-deck targets for monsters. So, really, just, uh... At this point, it's just waiting for him to finish it off. But we do play the games through. Do play this through. Maybe a miracle happens and he quits for some reason. So there's the end phase. We draw. Okay, let's let's rock. Uh, we can only banish free, though. I mean, it's Twin Twisters. We can do this. We will fight till the end. <laughs> Uh, but I, yeah, I gotta get a field spell. I don't care. I'm gonna annoy you. 
Yeah, go ahead. Finish me off. You won't. I don't believe in you, player. You can't do it. You don't you don't got the you don't got the guts. Like whatever it is you need to have, you just don't got it. Alright, so setting yeah, this is game. This is just game, no matter what he attacks with. Alright, but yeah, good game player. Uh I misplayed. Not gonna lie. Very much my fault we lost there. But uh, I feel like the deck did pretty well. And uh, yeah, so that was Giant Ballpark. And I uh, gotta say, a lot of fun to play. I enjoy it. I think it's a... I love when decks are able to incorporate like normal monsters into their strategies. Uh, the It's pretty good insect support. I feel like it's just a good field spell in general. It protects you from battle damage. lets you give you great VR setup like... Honestly, I there's another there's a few other decks that I might actually just run this in because like it's it's really good. But uh yeah, I love the deck. But let me know if you love the deck and if there is anything I could have done that maybe would have made the deck more successful outside of like correcting my own player error. But uh yeah. Like if you liked, comment if you have something to say and subscribe if you want some more. This has been Ronan signing off.